We're going to be talking about strobing tonight. And if you've ever heard of it, let me know what you think it is. What do you think strobing is? <laughs> I would love to know. Also, speaking of love to know, if you te if you are not already on my text messaging alert system, this is like for the elite of you who want to know everything like as soon as it happens. So what I've created is a text alert system that is called love to know. And all you have to do to be a part of it is you text, you text at love to know, just the words love to T O love to know to the number eight one Oh one Oh love to know at love to know eight one Oh one Oh it rhymes. Isn't this great? So when you do that, then it will, um, opt you in to my text messaging alert system. It's not a group text. It's just for me personally. So that way um, you'll just get a text. Oh my goodness. Who's here? Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Tracy Jenkins is joining us live on Facebook. Welcome. Good to see you. So what we're doing tonight is we're talking about strobing. Have you heard of it? And if you haven't, what do you think that strobing is? I want to know what your thoughts are. I just saw this. And I was like, Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Sometimes don't you think like things have different names for something that we've been doing all this time, like things that we used long ago, we are now calling a different name. So I think in my opinion, that's what strobing is. It's just, we're using a different name for the same thing. So, okay, let me get out my stuff for strobing because I'm not finding the one thing that I really wanted to bring out again tonight and I don't know where it is. I'm so sad. Okay, so first of all, before we get to the strobing, this would be kind of like, I think a strobing <laughs> situation, is this silver, glitter gloss. This is what I put on the other night on top of that Blackberry. Did you see that? That was like the galaxy on a lip and it looks so, so cool. But this is the silver glitter just by itself. This is Shea Butter and Vitamin E. It seals in those long lasting lip colors that you know I love. So there is a glittery glitter happening on this lip. I love it. And it's subtle enough that you could get away no matter what age you are in wearing a silver glitter. So I am recommending everybody nab a silver glitter gloss in the new year <laughs> before January is over. Nab a silver glitter gloss. But anyway, I love that by itself and on top of anything. So let's get to strobing. Let's quickly do this. And I'm going to show you two different things. So strobing in S why can I not get these words out today? In essence, strobing is highlighting. So you just learned, learned a new term. Strobing is highlighting. It's basically the same thing. And I don't know why we have to call it something more glamorous or different. I don't know. But this is the highlight that I use. It is a cream highlight. It is something that Breed Love and Beauty carries and that I can um, offer up to you. But this is a really beautiful cream highlight. It comes in one of the foundation bottles. It's an airless pump. So you use every drop. Love it so much. It is so natural. I don't know if you've ever seen someone strobe before, <laughs> highlight their face, and you can just like see the strip of white or something. I've seen this on ladies and it doesn't look supernatural. But this is supernatural in all its ways. <laughs> it is very natural. It is skin-like on your skin. So it does not look like you just plopped on like some glitter streak or something. You know, it looks really great. Anyone can put it on and it looks so natural. You don't have to have any sort of skill whatsoever. This is the regular. It comes in two kinds, the regular and the anti-aging. So this is the regular. I think that the regular is more cool tone. And I think the advanced anti-aging is warmer because the one that I'm putting on that's advanced anti-aging, let me see if I can get it in the light here. This one is the, wait, yeah, this one is the advanced anti-aging and it has a little bit more of a peachy sort of look to it. Just slightly more peach. And this one to me is cooler and that's the regular. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that, I know they're both very highly um, shiny, but that's what I'm thinking. Quickly, where to strobe? I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that's saying that it's, um, it is the warmer one. You can put it right down the bridge of your nose. I've heard some people say, don't put it on the end of your nose, and I've had other people say, do. So try it both ways and see what you think. Second area is that inner corner right there. And you can just tap it and tap it in. That is another place to strobe. <laughs> you also can put it right under the brow bone, blend it in with your fingers or with a brush, right under there, anywhere that the light hits. 
I've also seen people do above the brow a little bit. So you could do above and beneath, but the more common place is right here, just right there. And when you use a cream thing like this, it's just, it's so flawless. And then right here on the cupid's bow, it's gonna make your lips look just a little bit more pouty and bigger. And then the most common place that you're gonna see is of course on the cheek. So turn your face to where all the way to the side where you can see like a light that's shining on your face. You can really already just see where to highlight and you just kind of stick it there and then just tap it in with your finger and it easily blends and the warmth of your finger will just kind of help warm it up and blend it in just like that. I already kind of have a little bit on from earlier, but I'm just adding to it so you can see that. So there's that and there is I wouldn't say without, but it's <laughs> with <laughs> intense strobing and then here's just kind of the regular. Anyway, that is your strobing thing. Now, if you really want to go all out, you can put a little bit here in the center of your forehead. That's another place that you can kind of catch the light and also right down here. At this point, you're saying, why not just bathe in it? I totally understand. <laughs> But if you are used to being a little bit more oily skinned, you're probably going to want to stick to just a little bit on the top of the cheeks here and right here and right here. Anywhere else on the face, maybe on your lip, you, you oilies out there like me can do the lip. But if you're anywhere else, you're probably going to feel like it's making you look oily, even though you're not, you know, because you're used to the sheen. But now I used, I used to be an oily, but I would say I'm more normal skin now because I've gotten my skincare under control. Thank you. <laughs> so happy. Um, but if that happens to you, just, you know, kind of minimize the places where you could. Oh, last place I did learn that you can put it also right in the center of your lid. And this kind of can create a really nice shine right in the center of your lid. If you're trying to dye that lid back because it is a little bit wider and more prominent like mine, you may not want to do it right in the center. But if you have a hooded eye, go for it. <laughs> That's what I say. Let me know what you think about the strobing. Be sure to grab up a silver glitter gloss this month. For sure, everybody needs one. So be sure to text at, you have to put the at sign, at love to know to 81010 and you can be opted into my text messaging alert system. So anytime there's a deal, there's a new product, something that's coming out that I want to let you know about. If you're not using social media that day or you're on break or whatever it is, you will still get the alert. Isn't this brilliant? I think this is amazing. I'm so excited about it and it's free. Yay. <laughs>